Good morning, guys. That's right. I've been checking out the overnight encampment program here in Battleship, New Jersey. And basically, you could live the life of a sailor. Now, we've headed out to the deck where I'm joined with Battleship CEO, um, Jack Willard. Come on over here, Jack. So tell us a little bit about what people should expect when they when the guests come out to the deck, because they get to fire something called the saluting gun. That is correct. As part of our overnight encampments, we have a raffle where uh, one of the guests spending a night can pull the trigger and fire a saluting gun. Get a big bang. It's, it's very cool. It's something we do for all our encampments. So what does the saluting gun actually represent? What does it mean? Uh, back in the day when the ship was commissioned, it would salute other ships as they would pass by a, a blast of the saluting gun. We use it today when ships come up the Delaware River, any military ships, to visit Penn's Landing. And I'm actually not firing the saluting gun this morning. They've taken it up a notch for me. Thank you for that. <laughs> so what am I firing this morning? You are actually firing our port side, Philadelphia side, five inch gun. We definitely took it up a notch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, guests are gonna see a big fireball. They're gonna hear a big loud bang and then wait a few seconds and you hear the echo come back from Philadelphia and it sounds like the city of Philadelphia is firing back at the battleship. So what would some of the, the I guess, bullets look like? <laughs> is that the right, correct term? That, the that, ammo? For, that is for correct. This? We actually have a sample down here here what was fired out of the five inch gun. It's about a 50 pound bullet. It could hit a target accurately about 10 miles away. Okay, so this and this is like the casing for it? That's, that, that, exactly, that's the shell would go in that would, would power it out and that's the actual projectile that would come out of it. Okay, I'm a little nervous for this. I'm not gonna No, you'll you. be fine, you'll be so fine. So you, you said it's a really loud bang. That's why I have these on, but I guess you're a pro so that you don't need them. So <laughs> uh, I may still cover my ears. Okay, I'm not that ears. pro, so I'm not that professional. Yeah. Okay, I have Ken over here who's going to count me down, right? Okay, all right, you can, so, so go in from five, I guess. Three, two, one, fire. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Can I let go well of this done. one? Very cool. Well Woo, done. Okay, yeah. thanks guys. All right, so, oh goodness gracious, let me put this down. I was nervous holding that. Oh, thanks guys, <laughs> appreciate it. Okay, so tell me a little bit about some of these other um, ammo equipment that you guys have sure. out on the when, ship when people come to the deck. When people come and tour the battleship, they can come back and, and they not only see the, the five inch gun that you, you fired, mm -hmm. we also have a quad 40 gun that was on the battleship during World War II. Mm -hmm. And of course behind us here is the legendary 16 inch guns, which were the biggest guns in the military. Um, these would fire a projectile that was just about six feet high that could hit a target um, at least 23 miles away. So this is, so I don't think this is like a cannon, but it's actually a gun and this would be the bullet? It's a gun, it's a, exactly. The projectile is basically a giant bullet that would come out of um, uh, the 16 inch gun turret. And, and what's cool when you tour the battleship, you can go inside the turret and we actually have a turret two tour. You can go down inside the turret where they show you how they handled and load the guns. Awesome, Jack, thank you so much. Let me oh. shake your hand. I was in very good hands this morning. My, my thank you pleasure. so much. So if people wanted to get more information for the encampment programs, where should they go? They should visit our, our, our website at www battleshipnewjersey.org and uh, we'd love to have people come aboard and spend a night. It's a very cool experience. All right. Thank you so much. Nick, Amanda, I'm going to send it back to you guys. My ears are still intact. <laughs> Hopefully you guys could hear over there too. Yeah. Oh, we could, yeah, we could we not could. hear. That was awesome. That was really cool, Sophia. Yeah. All right, Sophia, thank you.